Hello all, welcome to the YouTube channel of Chameli Devi Institute of Pharmacy Law. Today, we are going to determine surface tension of the given liquid using stalagmometer. The method used here is the drop count method and we are using ethanol as our sample. Now, the requirement for the practical includes stalagmometer, the paint sucker, specific gravity bottles, distilled water, ethanol and beakers along with the urine stand. So basically just here uh, at this point we want to discuss about surface tension. So if we talk about the surface tension, surface tension is the force in dynes acting on the surface of liquid at right angles to any length of surface 1 cm and it is actually defined as the energy required to increase the surface area and which increases the solubility of the solution and increases the solubility rate. There are a number of methods which are used to determine the surface tension of any liquid like capillary rise method, denoise ring detachment method, stalagmometer method which includes drop count as well as drop weight method and Willamy plate method. Here we are using stalagmometer and uh, it is the most common method and here the uh, surface tension is actually the phenomena which is responsible for formation of spherical, spherical globules in emulsions or nearly spherical shape of falling water drops and many more. So you can see many of the things which are happening because of the surface tension. So we are going to uh, determine this with the help of this drop count method. So this is the stalagmometer, it's a kind of tube and these are the capillary portions and here is a bulb. The, this one is the known as the upper mark which is basically uh, marked as A mark and this one is the lower mark, lower end and uh, uh, when we use to fill the liquid, we will suck the liquid whose surface tensions uh, need to be determined, we will suck it through this and maintain the level up to this mark. And then we will allow the stalagmometer to stand and then the drop which is falling from this will be counted from mark A to mark B. So now we are going to first fill this stalagmometer with the distilled water and then count the drops accordingly and for that we are filling the uh, stalagmometer with the distilled water here and it should be filled up to the mark now adjust the upper meniscus to the mark A and at this point, hang the stalagmometer in a vertical position through this. And then we need to count the drops when we lift this finger from the mouth of this stalagmometer. Then just
So after this mark, it completes around 94 drops are calculated when we used water. Next here, we would fill our stalagmometer with ethanol. So here is the ethanol. Fill our stalagmometer with ethanol. So, okay. set it up to the mark. And then again hang this into this vertical position. So here we are hanging. And then again count the drops for the liquid. Total drop count is 237 drops.